Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back, I guess, to Demon Crawl, roguelike minesweeper that just got a huge new mode update that adds an auto battler battle royale mode. You heard me right. Roguelike minesweeper auto battler battle royale is quite literally a game that now exists and we will now play it. You may wonder the hell does that mean? What does that even look like? Well, we're gonna show you. It's... <laughs> I, I did dabble with this a little bit. I, I've been able to play this a little bit due to having Patreon uh, benefit access. Basically, if you support a Patreon, you get to check out stuff early. So I have played this, and it is really, like, works shockingly well. Uh, they've add, They have the auto-sweeper division, and they have now added a manual division. So if you want to actually straight-up play Minesweeper against other people, it has that, too. That is something I would like to dabble with, but... In the beginning here, where, where uh, I don't know how many videos on this will do. This may be the only one. Uh, well, while we are explaining what the hell is going on, let's go ahead and do the auto sweeper division. So this is basically robot, like a, the, the algorithm that the game creator made to solve the boards to deem whether or not they're solvable. It will go in and it will try and solve a board. Everybody has their own board that they are making. So basically, you have your own Minesweeper board, and you're going to be given passives and items that are going to change that board to make it more difficult of a Minesweeper board. Uh, of course, we have all these different classes as well. Let's see. Whenever you die, activate, activate Ectoplasma when you complete a stage in ghost form, you gain a scary mask. I don't know what this stuff all means. Uh, gain bones whenever you consume an item that isn't bones. You know what? Destroy the first omen you receive whenever you lose an omen, gain souls, and defense equal the number of omens you've lost this run. That sounds like a good thing. So that basically will mitigate bad RNG. So we picked our class. Everybody gets to pick their class. And then we get to pick our board, which will all have a passive. At the end of the round, lose items. This is something to uh, make it so the enemies have to deal with. Any coins spent in the stage are sent to the owner. Whenever a player dies, add the power of their homeland to your homeland. Uh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's, let's try and generate econ. So we have an island board. So when they spend any money in our board, we will get it. This is me clearing somebody else's board. I'm clearing, uh, Nihil Wolf. Look at that. We, we even, we even got our own, uh, oh, we got to pick up all this stuff. We'll cross the bridge when we come to it with a lot of the stuff. I'll explain a lot as it goes. Uh, but, yeah, we even have our own uh, unique avatar that the dev was nice enough to put in the game. I'll put a uh, the code in the description, of course, if you want to pick that up for yourself to play the game as me. All right, so now, in between the boards, we are going to be able to upgrade, either upgrade our own board or get items to make clearing other people's boards better. I like the idea of making mine really nasty. Uh, keeping it maybe kind of small. Let's see. Freeze upgrades. We can keep these. Increase the upper end of your homeland's power. So power is how much damage we do to a person if they click a monster. So let's, uh, let's upgrade the power. So they're going to take two extra damage if they take damage on my, my board. What do we got here? Restore one life whenever you spend at least five coins. Sure. Okay. Oh my god, there's a lot going on. We haven't even got into the basics of, like, what does Roguelike Minesweeper even look like? And it basically is just, what if Minesweeper, but, uh, yeah, so we have to take guesses there, actually. That kind of sucked. Uh, brutal. But we'll be okay. Whenever we spend five gold, we bought an item. Whenever we, uh, spend five coins, we will actually restore some life, which is good to know. All right. All right. Good stuff. Whenever you lose this item, gain a random legendary item, and we got a log, which I think is just like a... It's just crap. <laughs> this game is, is wild. It's crafting materials. Uh, it's actually crafting materials for outside of the game. Outside of the game. It's like a metagame crafting material type thing that we'll showcase. So we made our board uh, just do more damage, and we don't have money to get anything else here. So nobody spent money on my board yet. Oh, you can actually see everybody's uh, items now. That is really, that is really good. So that person has poison. So I guess somebody here has a poisonous board. Is 
Is that the forest? Is that for Does the we already went there. They didn't... I think, because poison, I remember when we were playing in the beta, there was basically a way where you would take unavoidable damage frequently, and it was super spooky. Oops, we want to finish. Uh, but alas... Hello. Uh, hello. Get all the money we can here. This is just meta currency. Trading ice bomb for your puzzle. Absolutely. Oh, shoot. Whenever you discover a three or greater, glean all nearby tiles. So gleaning is just, it lets me know what uh, the number is on those spaces. Oh my god, we haven't even talked about how you play Minesweeper. This is such an overwhelming game to explain, but uh, basically we're building a board. We did two damage to somebody with our with our board here. So, yeah, the next, the next round we will focus on take one damage at the end of the stage, just for sure. Just like, gain freeze cells equal to the homeland tier. That sounds kind of nice. Add a column and a row to your homeland. Better upgrades to choose from. Unlock the third special stage. For now, let's add uh, let's add freezing cells because I know that they mess up the AI of the auto sweeper. Uh, okay. Oh my god. Mind sweeper. If you don't know how to play... It does, it's not going to be relevant. That's the beauty of the auto sweeper division. It doesn't matter if you know how to play. But basically, this one means that there is a mine in this vicinity. Uh, and you can't, if you click on a mine in this, you take damage. In normal mine sweeper, you just lose. This, you, you, take, you take damage. There's RPG mechanics, roguelike mechanics to make it so you don't die straight up. Uh, but so this means there's one. So you know if there's that space right there, it has to be there. There's two surrounding it. Basically, you use a lot of really, really simple, quick math to determine the location of a lot of stuff. Uh, what is our mastery? Whenever destroy the first omen you receive, destroy a random omen is my active. So omens are just basically curses. We don't have any right now, so it's not, not going to be very relevant. At the end of the stage, spend five coins and send it to the owner. Does that double up? Hold on. Does that double up? All right. I'll make my board bigger as well. I'm doing nothing to make my board clearing easier. Like when I'm going to the other place, we just don't have money. That stuff. Acknowledge the evil inside your heart. Cells provide one less mana. All legendary items are transformed into passive items that are worth less. Uh... This gives us an extra revive. I'm going to take this, and then I'm going to destroy the omen. So we're literally going to buy it, and then we're going to destroy it. Whenever you discover, sell a value of six or greater. Oh, shoot. So I have I have revives now. So not only do I have ten life, if I die, I come back, I think, with full. Which is kind of nuts. Guarantees one additional heart drop per stage. So heart drops are just drops that restore HP. Convert all loot, landmarks, and strangers into new objects of the same category. I don't know if we're going to really use that too much. Apply frozen to a 5x5 five five area around the last cell you opened or corded. So that, that makes it so it's unclickable. We, get bad, we can't really get information from it, but it also makes it so we don't have to solve it, I think. Embrace destiny. What do we... Buy a random item. When you enter a stage, set your max lives. I don't really want to go for that. Eh. We might we might end we might accidentally end up with that, so I don't really want to do that right now. What do we got? If you're injured, lose one life. If you are injured, lose one life whenever you discover a five or greater. So a tile that has five. Uh, five surrounding it. Let's just upgrade our power for now. We'll check out the shop. Anything fun? Heart drops are converted into diamonds if you're not injured. Throw at a target stranger and be prepared to have a radical time, dude. Triples your chance to find legendary and divine. We already have a legendary and you can only have one. Whenever you discover three or greater, glean all nearby hidden cells. Heal up, dude. So far, so fine, man. We're doing pretty good. Also, we have armor. We have defense from something. I don't know what. I don't know when the hell that happened. But currently, things are not really too big of a deal. And it, and it, it might look like we're doing worse than this person. They may be uh, feeling pretty good about themselves. But uh, 
I collected five gold from them. Nice. So we get a guaranteed five gold every time. That's That item seems so busted. When you complete a stage, gain one defense for every diamond or chest left behind. I left some behind. Honestly, maybe we want to do that because it reduces the damage we take. Maybe we just want to leave chests behind. Maybe that's fine. Cannot use consumable items. When you enter the stage, seal three inventory slots. It makes it so they can't be removed or can't be used. I can't remember. It says it down there on the bottom in a second. Prevents you from clicking on a slot. The item still inside works, though. Prevents you. Okay. Uh, cannot use consumable items. You know what? Let's say sure. I don't really care about sealing the slot. We'll see if we get any money, any uh, anything cool here. For 100 turns, you're immune to burns. Automatically discharged after you take monster damage and kills all visible monsters. Gain a soul for every monster killed. A soul is max HP. A soul is maximum HP up, so that seems not too shabby. It, it, you know for a fact... I gleaned here. What You know for a fact that this is... Okay, so clearly the robot doesn't know about glean cells. Because this is a zero. There's no there's no mines right here. Should I leave this chest? Oh, somebody died. I'm going to leave the chest to gain armor. That sounds good to me. Because the chest could have an omen in it. Which wouldn't be that bad because we can remove them with our spell. What was it? Whenever you lose an omen, gain souls and defense equal to the number of omens you've lost this run. Okay. Oh, wait. We have that passive where we destroy the first one we received. So did we use our active when we actually didn't? I don't think we actually had an omen when we did that. Take damage if you flag an empty cell. I don't, I don't know if the robots do that. Monsters deal damage to your maximum life. Let's do that. Oh, let's get the damage in early. Let's get the damage in early, baby. Let's go. Oh my god, you got lots of curses there, my friend. Alright, so where whose board are we on? We're on this one. Volcano Homeland. Thank you. Got special crafting material. I empower monsters by one. Pay me nine coins to, oh, to change my mind. Do you really have to guess right now? I mean, I believe you, I guess, I suppose. I guess. So their board is very filled up with monsters. It's, it's small, but there's lots of stuff there. Which I, I feel like I historically have found... Yeah, I'm going to leave the chest. I'm going to leave the chest and gain armor. So that I don't get surprise killed. I might be able to literally just like slowly outlast people. You know? Recruit a pair of monsters. There we go. That's big. That's big. We've added four monsters to our board. How big is it? It's a... Uh, there's 81? Wait, 81 spaces? No. How big is it? 80, 81? That doesn't make any sense. Wait, yes it does. <laughs> it's a nine by nine. Okay. <laughs> so it's a nine by nine that has 19 monsters. And there's gonna be a certain point, I guess, where they're gonna reveal most things just by clicking once. Trap all visible objects on numbered cells in bubbles. Uh, no. I mean, so far, so fine. We've got, uh, we've got two extra lives. Are we really? We don't have to guess. We don't have to guess. Not on my watch. Lunch has great nutritional value. I know that uh, basically by playing this mode, you start to un... I killed somebody. Oh, nice. All right. I... You start to unlock basically bits and bobs to create maybe a hopefully eventually not, not nonsensical phrase. You know, you get a you get a first word, a second word, a third word, fourth word. So clearly we're doing something right if we killed that guy. Let's add a couple more. Burning cells equal to homeland tier sounds really nice. Alright, and then we'll maybe we'll save up money for once and we'll get our upgrade. 
but I kind of like flag a monster when you begin a stage. For two gold, sure. We'll, we'll do that, and then we'll we'll sit on it, and then maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll upgrade our shop next time, our uh, our board rather. Ba -ba 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 -ba. All right. Waiting for other players. All right. Wild's homeland. You now have three revives. Why do I get a revive when I come here? I feel like there's supposed to be some kind of downside. But yeah, every time I come here, I just end up getting lots of health. Uh, Because this is making... Guarantees one additional heart drop, so... Huh. Weird. I don't know what's up with this person's board, but I like it. It makes me stronger when I show up. And we currently, we have three revives. What's happening with it? Gain a revive at the end of the stage, lose lives equal to the max power. Ah. So it did damage to me. I see. It did damage to me. Examine the horizon. Up, unlock by upgrading your homeland. Okay, well, first of all, yes, I want five... I want to steal five more coins. All right. Hey, what do you mean, examine the horizon? Cut the following stage's max power in half. Uh, remove 15% of the total monsters from the following stage. Uh, what do we care more about? I feel like we care more about uh, the monster power right now. So we've actually... I think we permanently are going to permanently destroy or mess up the next stage we go to. Steal coins from target stranger equal to his price. Past 30 turns. Reveal a number of random cells equal to the visible. I, just, I, I feel like let's just keep our money for now. You've been cursed. Uh, Well, let's remove that curse. Oh my god. Okay, wait. Oh no. At the start of each round, gain burning cells equal to the homelands tier. I think when we pick up coins here, we take damage. Also, all these fire tiles that I can't... I can't not click on them. Bury random cell, give it sanctified, then restore life to the cell's value. I... I can't not click on these fire tiles. When in a normal game, I totally would. Alright. Look at all this health I'm losing. I just keep on clicking on the fire tiles. What are you doing, game? Why? Why'd you do that to me? I'm so glad I have so many revives. We killed somebody. Cool. Oh my god. The ever-living hell. Alright, when the stage timer hits five seconds, you restart the stage? That seems nuts. I need to make it bigger now. My goal now, my goal now is to make it as large as possible so it just takes a long time to solve. But the thing is, yeah, you got to think about it. We we could make our board more upgrade and make it bigger and wider. But then if there's the same amount of monsters but we just make it bigger, we are actually just making the board easier. If we make it cuz you click once, it, it means there's more empty tiles and and empty tiles are free. Like there's no risk in an empty tile, so All right. Did the, uh... Okay, good. The old, uh... I wonder if you guys have any revives. Hey, kid. Oh, no. I think it would actually... It would tell me. How do they not have revives? How do you not have revives? If that one stage gives revives, how do you not? I don't understand. Okay, so he's solved... Who's bored? Probably mine. Our frown has a trick up its sleeve. Too bad. Now yeah, let's just let's keep getting that armor. Make it so we only take one damage when we take damage. Automaton boss. This boss gains three boss mods when it spawns. Gain a boss mod whenever you make a mistake. Let's lock the shop. 
I, I would love to add a boss. Like, we literally are going to add an actual thing that is moving around our stage. Slightly increase your chance to find lives. That sounds kind of nice when one of the people left has that board where all of the hearts turn into max life. Guarantees one wish pool per stage. Okay. <laughs> uh, there's so many. There's so many dang items in this game. It's crazy. God's giveth. So we get an extra revive. By continually coming here, we are... Like, if we keep on running into them, we're just going to keep on getting so many lives that there's no real problem. And we're leaving all of these chests here very much on purpose so that we, like, whenever we take damage, we are only going to take one damage. Uh, which is not that bad. When we have 19 health and 3 revives, I kind of don't think we can lose right now. Okay, so we're going to take damage equal to the max power. We're going to take 6 damage. I mean, that sucks. That, like, don't get me wrong. That sucks. Bip, 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 bip. Okay. Well, they're dead, so no more guaranteed damage. I really want to buy the boss. And we'll unlock. Whenever monsters reveal, spawn a monster in a hidden cell. Stage power doubles whenever you take damage. Okay, I I am so bad at not say at, at not spending money. I just want to spend money so bad all the time, twenty four seven. Okay, they have so many dang items. What the hell? Double the value of a random cell each stage. Lose a random item every twenty turns. Double the value of a random cell. Doubling the value of a random cell is a curse that just makes the number... Yeah, it, it just makes the number higher? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like, it's giving you incorrect information, which I'm sure would theoretically jank up the robot. Uh, yeah. We'll see how this goes. I feel like we might be... Oh, they got a boss too. It's bruises. What's your deal? Whenever a dark heart is collected, you take one damage. Whenever you make a mistake, spawn dark hearts around the boss. And I believe when he picks... When you interact with loot, destroy all other visible loot. That's so good, though. Oh, that's so good, though. We love we love destroying those dark hearts. We just... We got first. Easy. Easy. <laughs> what all is happening here? Oh, my God. He's telling us to go to Patreon. I'm already a Patreon supporter. Got the old... Let's see there. Twitch.tv slash Retromation. Let's go. Should we add a funky effect to it? We can we can change the color of it. I kind of just want the basic one, though. All right. We'll go for that. Well, let's play one more. I can't... I can't not. Compete against seven other players online. Auto sweeper will solve the boards for you, allowing you to concentrate on item management, other decisions. You know what? We'll, we'll uh, let's do the auto sweeper division for today. If you guys are interested in this, uh, as interested as I am, uh, maybe we can check out the manual di division as well. Which? Wait, hold on. Prize box. What do we get? What do you got for me? Speechless emote. Academy. Made a comeback. So we can literally edit our sign. My academy made a comeback. Your academy? Can we can we make this empty? I don't know what to say. We don't really have a whole lot of options. I, I love this as a... <laughs> Your Academy? I have no idea, dude. Well, well, that, that's my build. Alright. In we go. Oh my god. This is, this is everything. 
This is like, this is AI generated a perfect video game for Retromation. Is what is what this is. I'm so excited that it's out. Oh, there's a party member system now. Nice. All right, who do we give for? I don't think the gleaning helps at all. I don't know if the robot, if it helps him or not. Begin the quest with poison. Whenever poison activates, cast poison blade. What? You're immune to life loss from poison. Toxic cells grant an additional poison. I don't know what poison blade is. All legendary items are favored. Gain a random legendary item when you enter the final stage. I don't know if there is one. Gain a legendary item, gain a mastery charge. Convert all visible chests into legendary items. Delay monster damage by three turns. Your last status effect will increase instead of decrease. What the hell, dude? I'll take this one for now. Stage ga gains an extra frozen cell every round. At the end of each round, lose items equal to the homeland tier. Burning cells deal additional life loss equal to the homeland tier. Let's go with the the frozen. So frozen tiles, they basically they put an ice block on a tile and they make it so it doesn't you can't tell. I find it hard to believe that we didn't could have made no guess. Your targeted magic items will target an additional random cell. Triples your chance to find legendary or divine items. Cool. All right. Yeah, I feel like going, I can't wait for the, you know what? I can't wait for the manual. Lost an item. Begin the quest with poison. Whenever poison activates, cast poison blade. Kill target monster or stranger in five turns, applying toxic to its cell after it dies. Cancel the cast to poison yourself. Spider fang, consumable item. The next time a monster is revealed, kill it before you can take damage. That's really good. Let's just add a couple monsters for now. I don't really necessarily need to make the board bigger. Oh, shoot. All right. Crafting materials. God dang it. Oh, god dang it. Your consumable item effects are randomized. Huh. So consumable items are the ones where you can click them. You can click them. And uh, they'll do some kind of activation. Rip off. Artifact deserves respect. <laughs> Talking about <laughs> Valve's artifact. Uh, at the start of each round, gain frozen cells equal to the homeland tier. I mean, there we go. We got, uh, so we're going to be doing two now. Better than nothing. It's literally, okay. So this is armor that we can, uh, oh, we, it tried to boomerang because technically it's a consumable. <laughs> it's a random effect. So yeah, we lost our poison right away, which was kind of like our strategy. That's kind of like how we could become strong. 15 coins, I'll make eh, leg armor for you in a bunch of turns. We're gonna be gone by then. Okay. Morality minus one. Okay. We have a morality system. Honestly, burning tiles seem like they maybe are the best way to go when there's robots opening up the tiles. You know? Play a random effect, why not? Why not? Yeah, da da. Hey, da 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 da. da. Boop, 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 boop. Wait, there's another frozen land. So 
So yeah, these are frozen tiles. This is what we have all over our field. You can't click on them. They kind of, like, they kind of solve something for you, but they also kind of jank it up. I would say that we should probably make our board bigger now. In a way that it wasn't quite as beneficial last time. It's a little bit more beneficial now. Because, um, first of all, we'll, we'll add more frozen tiles. It also gives more real estate for things to get messed the hell up. So, how much is it? Is it 10? <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Exit the current stage without completing it. Isn't that just going to kill us? When you enter an item shop, increase the prices. That would give us a revive. You will not discover any strangers. That gives us two max life. Fine. I'll take a revive. Maybe we'll be able to remove that omen. Uh, it's... Oh, cankers. They're going to just be on our screen forever, aren't they? Consume your poisons, activate an equal number of spider fangs. We need to find some way to get poison, dang it. Trap all of it. I mean, th that doesn't matter because all of our abilities are randomized. I'm kind of trying to... <laughs> Statistically, I don't know how likely it is for us to actually... Obelisk. Open 18 cells within 10 seconds. Well, no, I... We keep on finding stuff after the point where it's useful. Ooh, they took away my... Okay, so my item effects are no longer randomized. Good stuff. I gotta be real. I'm gonna lock that. Getting four monsters sounds good. Become an expert in certain items. Armor, stage, life, target. Your targeted... Whoops. Your targeted magic spells. Upgrade target loot. Okay. Well, it's, it'll target... So we can upgrade, what, like a coin to a diamond? but And then it'll target another random tile? Uh, I don't know if that'll end up helping us out. I feel like... I feel like some of these are bots. Like, pretty confident. Blight Chop Void Squirt? I mean, voice... Hey, who knows? It's the internet. There might be a Void Squirt. Relocate target object to a random visible cell. <laughs> I don't know why we would do that, I guess. But sure. So far, so fine. We have to do another board. Oh my god. This ain't good. We could feed our items here to get rid of that um, that curse of ours. But I'm kind of okay with it. Take one damage whenever you gain an item? Oh, no. We're in hell. We're in absolute hell. Okay. Um, we probably should have just fed all of our items to the... We, need, we could click these to clear them away, but we would take a damage, by the way. Um, oh, God. We, we've really got screwed, haven't we? We immediately lost our poison that would give us any kind of actual benefit from our ability. We have some pretty gnarly curses. This ain't looking too good. Oof. So every time we click a tile, we gain a little bit of mana. Which will charge up our abilities, so we can... Yeah, it targets another random slot, but what are the odds that it's going to actually end up on a coin? Ooh, I dealt six damage to somebody, and then somebody else died. Oh my god. It's worth it. Rede reduce the next source of life, life loss by one plus the number of monsters you have killed. I'm tempted to do that and then click a canker just so we have to look at less of them. 
Gain poison whenever a dark heart is collected. Whenever you make a mistake, lose lives equal to your number of poisons. Sounds kind of fun. I mean, not for me. Objects have a chance to explode. Whenever an object blows up, take damage. <laughs> it just sounds fun. All right, I would love to get that stage that has a, uh, a hungry plant again, because we can literally feed all of our items to it. Uh, I think in order from top, upper left to bottom right. Ba -ba 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 -da -da. Oh, this is the one we have to do twice, isn't it? Wait, what? No, what am I doing? Expand the radius of your next heartable magic item by one. I'm going to take damage. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I just... I don't want... I want items! See item, take item. I don't want to just not open chests so we don't take the guaranteed damage. That's not fun. We straight up... We straight up just have to clear this board twice. Monster deal extra damage equal to the number of nearby cells that are solved. Eh. So what does our board look like? We have 100 tiles, so it's 10 by 10, and a fourth of them, one fourth of them are monsters. I don't know what we want out of that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if that's good for us. I don't think we can have two bosses. Monsters attack an extra time. That seems pretty good. It's double... E Roughly double your monster damage. Currently, when a, someone clicks a monster, they take 2 to 6 damage, so they actually take 4 to 12. From between 4 and 12 damage when they click one of my monsters, which 12 could literally just kill someone. Someone could literally just die by clicking one of mine. I've been cursed. Great. What is this? You will only find omens. Lose this item when you gain an omen. 1% pathfinding for every stage you've completed. Pathfinding? Is that the, like, robot clearing? Yeah, I guess I'll keep taking those. I think those are just, like, loot drops for uh, this special summer event going on. My bad roll is done. Might as well put the armor on, I guess. I forgot about that. So we take one less damage, but when we take the damage, it goes away. Gain an omen whenever a monster is revealed. Sounds... Wait. Don't I already have a heck of slug boss? So you can have two, probably, right? I want... I want another slug. Is that bad? Is it bad that I want to get a slug? Is anybody a tier 4 yet? Yes, you are. Let's take stock. Tier 3, tier 2, tier 2, tier 3, tier 4 at the bottom. I don't know. I don't know, man. I feel like I'm not doing damage to people. So something is wrong with my board building exercise. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bo, 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 do, bo, bo. Turn that into five gold instead of one. Oh, I did damage. Nice. I did damage. I'll take it. It's one damage, but I'll take it. You know, why not? Ba, ba, ba. Shiny monsters drop legendary items. Is that so? This one's taking forever to clear. Void Squirt killed Chromanic. If we can't, um... Oh, shoot. Don't do that. If we can't clear it in time, we take damage. Oh! Then we take damage. Uh, based off of, you know, whatever monsters are left. So we really... Yeah, you really want to avoid that. So 30 bucks we need. Did not get it. Go, go, go! 
23 monsters in 121 tiles. So who where did we just go? We went to we went here. There's 25 monsters in 121 tiles. That took a long time to clear. Okay. Waiting for other players. It wouldn't take this long if these were all bots. Right? It wouldn't take this long if they were all bots. Uh, cultist, what do you do? Spawn two dark hearts whenever a dark heart is collected. You cannot manually collect dark hearts whenever you make a mistake. Spawn another boss. Wait, what happens if I upgrade a heart? Does it go to a... Maybe it turns into max life. This board is not scary, though. Like, at all. Okay. Money, 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 money. Okay, we can't can't upgrade that thing. What is this? Expand the radius of your next targetable. I killed somebody. Murderer. Two slugs. Yeah, there's actually two slugs. All right, so we'll wait and we'll upgrade our tier next. I feel like there's almost no point in buying items really right now. Yeah, they're just a bunch of omens. <laughs> Gee, I don't know. I mean, if we buy one, we would get rid of that other thing. But like, I'm just not taking items because taking items does damage to me right now anyways. So I don't really... I kind of have the same... In a completely different way, I have the same vibe as last round where I don't really want to pick up items. Because... It's just going to harm me right now. 12 life. Nobody has extra extra lives. Or maybe they secretly do. All right. I'm just going to pick up everything. I'm not going to mess with this cuz we're going to have to clear this board twice so we don't want to we don't want to dilly-dally. If we open up our menu, that's less time that we get to um, open up the board. Plus as soon as we clear this, we're just going to straight up teleport to the next one anyways. Come on, faster. Okay. We'll use our item at the end of the board. I know it's it's suboptimal. Now we, we, no, we got 28 seconds. Speed run. Okay. You can spike a beach ball with precise timing. Thanks. Oh, so there's, se <laughs> there's seasonal words, aren't there? Okay. Monsters deal extra damage. You can remember the invisible monsters. No random loot, nor strangers, nor landmarks. Help you complete the stage. Spawn three chests. Let's just upgrade the stage there. The hero grows stronger. Two max life. One defense. What is your power? One to two. Your power is only one to two. One to two. Two to fifteen. Woo! That guy's gotta go! Void Squirt's gotta go! Oh, uh, it's this one. Took a, took a long time last time. Spawn three cankers whenever Dark Heart is collected, whenever you make a mistake. Increase the size of all cankers. Big cankers shrink to their original size when clicked. Instead of getting destroyed, that is so annoying. So he's going, he's walking around, he's picking up those cankers. There's nothing we can do about it. I killed somebody. Oh, it turns it into a chest. Oh. No thanks. Oh. Wait, D Void Squirt died. Perfect. God, we have cankers all over the dang screen. If this w if we were not doing the auto sweeper, we would risk clicking these. End of the stage, lose the first item in your inventory and send it to the owner. That actually would be bad for us right now. When you enter a stage, spawn three... When you enter a stage, spawn three saw blades with three life spent each. When a saw blade explodes, take a damage. Huh. 
How many frozen cells do I have? I feel like we might have too many frozen cells. We may be freezing all of the monsters so they don't have to click them. But didn't I kill somebody? I killed somebody, I think, that last round. Oh! <laughs> Paint! <laughs> oh! Why couldn't I heal? I don't know. It was a fluke. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Besides this absolute mess, whose board is this? Was it like the beach? Was it even you? Yeah, it was you. Oh, shoot. I beefed it. All right. Well, you know, second place is fine. I'll take it. <laughs> I'm excited to check out the uh, the manual sweeper mode uh, to have a little, you know, it's, it seems like it might be terrifying, but to have a little bit more autonomy. <laughs> Same time. So funny to me. Alright, so we got more uh, we got more paint. Got a different color paint. But alas, alas, that is that. That is gonna do it here for today. Again, I don't know. This may be a one-off. I don't know how excited you guys are gonna be for this. Uh I've been waiting for this for a long time. Uh, uh the manual sweeper probably for next time we'll go over, you know, re, re go over basics and everything. It's literally it's competitive roguelike minesweeper is what it is. So it's like I mean how could you be how could you be sad about that? But alas, that is that. That is going to do it for today. Check out the old channel for roguelikes and more every single day, typically. Uh, perchance more Demon Crawl, because this game is amazing. It's one of my favorite games. Period. It's, it's, this is one of my favorite games, and now it's got a wild new mode that is right up my alley. But that's that. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. Roguelikes and more every single day. Like, comment, subscribe, etc. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.